Welcome to Voyazian. Beauty and the Beast. Chapter 4. The Dream. Beauty stood at the window and watched her father as he left the castle. She waved as he rode out of the garden, and into the forest. She watched him as he got further and further away. When he was only a tiny spot of color in between the trees, she left the window and looked around the room. She was completely alone and very scared. She lay down on the bed, hid her head in the pillows, and cried herself to sleep. In her sleep, Beauty had a dream. She dreamed that she was in the hall of the castle, and that she saw a handsome young man. She walked up to him. His eyes were deep blue, with a beauty that was not of this world. She saw that he was not an ordinary man, but a prince. There was something magical about him. When he spoke, his voice went straight to her heart. She looked at him and she was filled with love for him. He spoke to her. Beauty don't be sad. Things are not the way they seem. Please find me, and save me from my misery. I am very unhappy. But Prince, how can I help you? Don't trust your eyes. Just listen to your heart. Then a clock striking softly twelve times, woke her up. Beauty remembered where she was. She remembered the wonderful prince of her dream, and she was calm and happy. She remembered that in the dream the prince was in the hall, so she decided to go there. She walked around the hall and it was all the same as in the dream. But, of course, there was no prince. Beauty had a wonderful time exploring the castle. But she could not stop thinking about the prince. But what does it all mean? After all, it was only a dream, but it seemed so real. Is the beast so cruel that he can keep the prince in prison? He must be very evil. While looking for the prince she found a room full of toys and stuffed animals which spoke to her and danced with her. In the next room musical instruments played themselves. The third room she entered was bright, full of candles, lamps and chandeliers. A beautiful fur cape flew in front of her, she took it and put it round her shoulders. When she finally got back to her room there were all kinds of books for her to read, and a delicious meal on the table. Beauty ate the meal, and started to read one of the books. She was so interested in the story that she didn't hear anyone at the door. She looked up and the beast was in front of her. She was very frightened although he spoke softly to her. Hello, Beauty. Did you find things to make you happy today? Yes, thank you, Beast. Good. I want you to be happy here. Are you happy? Oh, yes, Beast. Everything is lovely here. Beauty, I want to ask you something. But you must give me an honest answer, the answer that comes from your heart. Yes, Beast. What is it? Beauty, I love you. Do you love me? Will you marry me? What should she say? She was afraid of him, and she didn't know how to say no. And so, she said. No, Beast. You are kind, but I don't love you. And I don't want to marry you. At this the Beast let out a roar of anger and pain. Why don't you love me? Am I so ugly? He shouted at the terrified Beauty, and left the room. To continued. Thanks for watching. Please, like share and subscribe our channel for more videos.